What's going on guys? Wait, that doesn't sound right. Give me a second. I think this sounds better. What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to talk about how to improve your audio in your video because believe it or not, audio is just as important, if not more important than the video. Last week, TLY Ryder, also a content creator here on YouTube, reached out to me to do a collaboration on this topic. So Ryder, take it away. Hey, thank you, Bennett, for having me on your channel. I really appreciate collaborating with me on today's topic. I want to share a few tips on how you can enhance the audio experience in post processing. So when I started out on YouTube, I used a Zoom H1 and at the time it was only $99. So this is an awesome tool because you can have it on the talent or the subject. So when I am away from the camera, I used to record onto this. So after I record, I take this out and import into a tool called Audacity. Audacity is a free tool and you can enhance that audio experience. Even if you have recorded the audio on your onboard mic on the camera, you can still use some of the tools in Audacity to enrich that audio experience. I normally use noise cancellation, compressor, and normalization using audacity and that makes a lot of difference and gives that rich audio experience for your vocals number two tips that i wanted to give is apart from enhancing the vocal i also wanted to emphasize the fact that you also have to think about other sounds like how a b-roll supports the video audio sounds if you're putting a logo or if you have a lower third you know whenever you do that if you add some sound effects to that that enhances the audio overall experience and for that i use youtube audio library and ben sound so those are some of the free resources available to download sound for your videos and the number third point as i touched previously ben sound is a awesome resource where you can have good quality music available for download for your videos when you just have your talking head on the videos having those background music really helps to enhance the overall experience and doesn't make the video boring Boring. Make sure that your vocals are higher decibels than the background music because you don't want to overpower your background music up against your vocals. If I just add a background music while I'm talking, that kind of adds another angle to the audio. So those are the tips I have for today. And thanks again, Bennett, for having me on your channel. Back to you. The next tip is not to use the built-in mic on your camera. If you want good audio, I recommend investing in an external mic like the Rode VideoMic Pro. You will immediately notice the difference in sound quality. This is how it sounds with the built-in microphone. And this is how it sounds like with the Rode VideoMic Pro, much better. It's important to know that if you use a shotgun mic, it needs to be pointed to the direction where the sound is coming from. It's a good idea to use good headphones to check your audio if your camera supports it. Bringing the microphone as close as possible to the subject will give you the best results. To illustrate this, I will be talking to the mic from different distances. So here I'm placed one foot away from the mic. And now I'm placed three feet away from the mic. And here I'm placed five feet away from the mic. Sounds like shit. As you can see, having the mic closer will give you better and cleaner sound. Next tip is checking your recording levels before you start recording. You want to avoid peaking or going to the red area. Having the volume too high will distort the audio and having it too low will introduce noise to the audio. On the Sony a7 III, you can see the audio meters measured in decibels. As a rule of thumb, you want your audio levels to sit between minus 12 to minus six decibel. I recommend lowering the volume in the camera and boosting the audio on the external mic to get the best results. As for my last tip, use a windscreen, also known as a dead cat, to protect your audio from wind noise. Meow. Here is an example of me using a dead cat versus without on a windy day. So it's quite windy out here and this is how it sounds like with the Rode VideoMic Pro without the dead cat. And this is how it sounds like with the Rode VideoMic Pro and the dead cat on it. 
As you notice, it's important to have one of those windscreens with you whenever filming outdoors. If you don't have one, you can also use your sock to block off some of the wind entering the microphone. All right, guys, that was it on how to improve your audio in your videos. Thanks, TLY Rider, for the awesome collaboration. If you haven't checked out his channel, he does some great camera and lens reviews and loves to ride motorcycles. I will leave a link in the video description below. Let me know what you think of this video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.